Okay, guys, I'm back at uh, Helen's Bridge. Um, it's been a while since we recorded here, so I thought I'd come back. It's a little later in the evening, not too dark, though. Um, but we're going to go underneath the bridge again. It was about right here in this area where I was standing, facing the other direction, that I had something thrown at me. Uh, hopefully, nothing this time will be thrown at me, but you never know. And this is the most haunted place in Asheville and one of the top three most haunted places in North Carolina. So, we're back. You can't just do one video here. You got to do more. Look how this sun's coming through here. Sun's going down and makes a kind of ominous look underneath the bridge. And um, cars coming underneath here a lot. You hear the echo. Um, looks like it's becoming a little unsafe right there, possibly. They may have to redo it again. They've had, they've had to redo the bridge before. But like I say, this on this side here is supposedly where she hung herself, um, the Helen. But now there's been reports that maybe she did, maybe she did, maybe no such thing as Helen. But there's other entities up here. People have come up here and done uh, seances. They've done Ouija board. They've done all kinds of stuff like that. So there's no telling what kind of uh, uh, evil has been produced in this area. And um, so there that is. And I'm hearing something back up in here. There's a castle just on the other side of this. And I'll show you that um, here in just a moment. But I thought I'd kind of walk around this area a little more than last time. Marnie's with me, but she's in the car. Uh, she's not getting out doing as much as she used to with these videos, but she's here with me all the time. Um, <clears throat> she's doing a lot of the everyday life videos with me and kind of running that a little bit more. Plus her three girls and a cup of Joe videos that she does. So if you had not checked those videos out, check them out. Um, there's a car leaving. That might have been what I heard. It might have been what, well, really it shouldn't have been on the bridge because I don't think it's quite safe for cars to be on that bridge. But if you see or hear anything, let me know because this place has been known to be haunted for a long time. And... And um, it can give you some spooky vibes, that's for sure. I mean, it's not really bothering me or anything. It's just you can get spooky vibes just in this area alone. And people do live here. I mean, they do live on the other side of this area. And <clears throat> um, there's another car going through. So it could be somebody that lives here or visiting somebody that lives here. I've never actually talked to anybody that lives here to see if they've heard or seen anything. That'd be interesting. Um, if you've ever been to Helen's Bridge, comment below and let me know what you um, felt, seen, heard, whatever the case might be, um, if you've ever been here before. So just let me know what you, what you think about it. Uh, there's a lot of tales about it, a lot of things said about it uh there's been a video done inside the castle unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do that because well i don't really know anybody that lives there and i don't know uh any you know if they'll allow anybody to uh, to come in but it was allowed by some paranormal investigators some friends of mine and um, <clears throat> anyway so There's cars that are always coming up and down from here. There's people who live in this area. So. Hello.
You can get up on top of the bridge. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually going to take, I'll go up there with you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to film up there anyway. Yeah, you can just walk or drive, whichever. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, right here is the bridge. I can hop this, and uh, it's no trespassing area, so I'm not going to hop in on it, but that's the top of the bridge. Um, the castle is right up there. Um, I'll get a, a bottom shot of it here in a little bit. I just met some people from Charlotte that are here. Uh, they didn't even know that this place was even considered haunted, so they just, it was a place, they seen were places to go and check out in Asheville, so... Um, so I gave him a little backdrop story about what Helen's Bridge was about. So it's always good to meet new people and, uh, share your stories of things that you know, but this is the top of the bridge. Um, it was specifically built for the castle so they could get over to it. Um, and, and a horse and carriage back in the day too. And, uh, like I say, you can see it's all grown up not really used anymore um don't get me wrong this is a very very beautiful area to be considered to be a haunted area um my battery is it's funny my, i had 94 percent when i first started i've only been re recording six minutes i'm down to 88 percent and usually my battery lasts longer than that and i had it charged up pretty good before i left the house so i don't know sometimes entities can do that to you as well um if there's one around i haven't sensed or seen anything um <clears throat> but i cut the camera off a while ago so i could talk to these people and um like i said they didn't know anything about uh the the uh, the fact that it's haunted I like some a chain um uh, <clears throat> but um as you can see out here, that's downtown Asheville. And um, let me get around here to the, let me put you on pause and I'll, I'll bring it back up here in just a second. I'll show you a better view of it. Here's another back part of this road that I just walked up. I just wanna show you that real quick too. I had to walk from down here up to here and around that's where that bridge is uh, i could actually drive it if i wanted to but um i thought it'd be cool just to walk up and talk to those people but um people have seen apparitions on this whole entire road that's what i've been told i've not seen anything you never know um uh, but uh, people have actually encountered a woman according to a legend where she has asked if they've seen her child uh they say no and she just disappears uh so that's another legend of this place it's a it's beautiful up here don't get me wrong it's a very beautiful view of downtown um you can kind of see the sun going down um, <clears throat> and it's creepy, it's haunted, but it's also very unique, very different, very beautiful. Um, and people test the legend of Helen a lot up through here. So, um, and there's some more downtown right there. Um, more of the scenery and view of downtown Asheville. And so it's, it's very unique and different. People are very friendly up here, wave at you. Um, so let's see if I can get zoomed in a little bit. Um, like right here is City Hall. Right there is the courthouse. Um, let's see, see anything cool to show you. Um, back there is the Battery Park Hotel. We've done a video there, talked about how haunted it is. Uh, the Civic Center is right over in this area. Um, let's see. 
Oh, okay. Well, let me get a better view of it. Okay, so like right straight ahead, right where my finger's at, that's Church Street. We've done videos there before too. And then on back, on back, right back in there, that's that's Patton Avenue. That's one of the main strips in Asheville, main, main roads in Asheville. So like I say, you can see a lot from up here. Look at the tree broke up there. Like lightning must have got a hold of that one. Uh, or maybe a ghost, I don't know, but looks like a lightning might have gotten it. Um, but I wanted to bring you back up and show you some more of this area. The one I didn't show you before. Um, and it seemed like every time you come up here, you're going to meet somebody, which is always cool. So if you, if you come to Asheville and you're maybe wanting to check out Helen's Bridge, let us know in the comments below that you want to go see it. Maybe, maybe we can, uh, meet up and do a YouTube channel together or something like that, like a collaboration or whatever. Um, but, uh, or just, you know, drop me a comment below and let me know that you actually came to this, to this area. There's a bridge again. You hear sirens, always hear sirens. Um, we lived in downtown for a good little bit, uh, for not quite a year, but close to it. Heard it every day and night. All right, I want to pause you just a moment and I want to once again show you the castle from the bottom of this road all right guys somebody put a whistle on the back of this sign it's a speed limit sign we don't know why they did that but that's kind of funny all right let's go around here to the castle side and we're gonna I think be done with this video so if you saw or heard anything that I did, and I always go back and try to review my footage, but sometimes I'll miss things. Uh, and I got a good friend of mine, Dave, who always uh, checks videos, not just mine, but other people's, and he, he is really good about finding things in videos. You can actually see the castle a lot better this time than you did before, mainly because of all the leaves are gone, but there you go. It is beautiful from the outside. I don't know what the inside looks like, but it is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful place. So for Crossroads Explorers, I hope you enjoy the video and we will see you soon. God bless.